Okay, so this is a typical question, research methods question, about how we would randomly allocate people. So in this particular question, it's a continuation of the previous one. In the previous one, we needed 20 people in the sample. Um, the target population was 60 males and 40 females, and we had to calculate that, therefore, that we needed 12 males, etc. Okay, so this question is, psychologist wanted to randomly allocate the 20 people in her stratified sample to the two conditions. So she needed an equal number of males in each condition and an equal number of females. Explain how she would have done this. Right, so they are expecting you to refer to the numbers. Okay, um, they also are expecting you to pick up on the fact that there are 12 men and 8 women. So that is really important. If you don't do that, if you just do a generic answer, you're going to lose marks. Okay, so this one is again quite demanding. Four marks. It's quite a lot you need to say. So how do we get the four marks for this? All right, and they are looking at this question, this word here, how. How is always a method question. Explain how they would have done it. So this is really asking you to break down the method Okay, so it's not defining it, it's breaking down the method. So here we've got marks for a clear description of a practical way of randomly allocating the 12 men and 8 women. Okay, so here we go. Right, so a lot of people just say put all the names in a hat. It's really not that practical to do that. It's very time consuming if you've got lots of people. The easiest way is to just literally get your list of people. Um, and in this case, the list of all the men in the company that said so 60 men or whatever we then or um, in in our case we've already selected 12 of them so we've got our sample so we're just going to use the 12 from the sample okay because this is asking us to divide them into the two conditions so we need to refer to those 12 males you're going to give each male a number allocate each male a number so you've got a list of nail names give them all a number you just put the numbers in a hat Okay, and probably what you're going to state is the first six are going to go into condition A and the last six into B. But it is important that you literally say how you're going to do that. You could say, for example, um, the, the, the odd numbers, so number one, three, etc., that are pulled out will go into condition A and the even numbers into B, or just the first six into this condition, the second six into the other. But you do need to state that. And obviously you are you are expected to pick up on the fact that you only need eight females. So you've chosen your females, you put all of their names on a list, you allocate them a number, put the numbers in a hat, and the first four go into A and the second four go into B. So it is quite wordy, it's quite simple, but it is important that you literally go through that process. Important to identify that there are 12 males, um, eight females, that's important, and then literally list them, allocate them a number, the numbers go in a hat, for example, or on a computer system, doesn't matter which, it's the same process, so the names don't go in the hat, the names don't go on the computer, it's the numbers that do, and then the computer or the hat is generating randomly, first eight or whatever it happens to be, first six, ten, whatever it is, whatever number you need, go into condition A and the next lot into B.